Dusty's family and had a look inside the jail to find out how it happened. Since Dustin Baltimore escaped from the McCreary County Detention Center, no one has suffered as much as his parents. It's about to kill me, you know. I mean, I love my son, but I love my family and my, my community. You know, that's why I called you, because my community needs to know there's somebody loose. I would like for you to contact us and let us know he's okay. You know, let his dad know he's okay. McCreary County Jailer Tony Ball is still trying to piece together what happened Friday night. He says cameras were watching the 15 inmates inside the recreation room, but the old equipment is limited and his staff is undermanned. We're just people when we make mistakes. Um, it's a big one. Corrections officers say the rest of the inmates aren't talking about what happened, but investigators believe that Baltimore used this door to climb up to the ceiling and make his way out through a gap in the fence. Now where he went from there, I don't know. The bigger question is how an inmate could escape on Friday and go unnoticed until Sunday. Uh, we uh, normally count them, but the new officer had failed to do that as he came back in. Since the discovery, jail officials have learned Baltimore has a history of escape and will go to great lengths to avoid capture. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's a little weird, but uh, yeah, he was dressed as a lady trying to disguise himself. Um, hadn't shaved his legs. So, <laughs> was, that, was that what tipped it off? That was part of what tipped it off, and he didn't walk like a lady. <laughs> All levity aside, the priority now is to find Baltimore as quickly as possible. Do what's right and turn yourself in, and you'll be took care of. I want him found. I don't want him hurt, but I want him back incarcerated before somebody does get hurt. In McCreary County, Gabriel Rojas, WKYT 27 News First. And jail officials say the recreation room will remain.